film has less deterioration over time than either mono or polycrystalline PV in hot climates. All solar panels slowly lose their ability to convert sunlight into electricity over time. Most thin film have usable lifetime as long as crystalline panels. The graph show the power loss of thin film is less than 8% compared to crystalline panels which is 15%. The test has been done in two condition which is in standard test condition and real condition in Kuala Lumpur. The parameters used for this test include the surface temperature, area of solar panel and in intensity and direction of sunlight. Based on the survey, thin film show the higher efficiency of real condition in Kuala Lumpur while crystalline panel has a higher efficiency in standard test condition. In real life, thin film can give more annual energy yields per area. The figure shows the area of thin film is smaller than any crystalline panel to achieve the same annual energy yield. Photovoltaic solar panels exist to generate electric power efficiently in a wide variety of environmental conditions. Solar power is one of the most viable and cleanest forms of renewable energy because we can use the sun's energy within the sunlight to produce electricity by means of solar cells. The figure shows the different spectrum responses of different solar technologies against the power of sunlight. Thin film CIGS solar panels, for example, have a broad spectrum response compared to other technologies. This means that the effective time for generating power is much longer each day for CIGS. The electron power generating process keeps working from morning to sunset, allowing more power to be produced on average day when compared to crystalline silicon panels. There are two major types of solar cell which are crystalline silicon and thin film. CIGS is one of three mainstream thin film PV technologies, the other two being cadmium telluride and amorphous silicon. Like these materials, CIGS layers are thin enough to be flexible, allowing them to be deposited on flexible substrates. CIGS solar panels, thin film panels, made of a thin layer of copper, indium, gallium and selenide. Thin film can be applied to almost all type of surface such as metal, plastics and even stainless steel. Compared to the traditional PV cells, thin film solar cell can produce more amount of electrical power with the same amount of area as they are based on monocrystalline. Thin film also available as thin wafer sheets as it will save material and reduce the weight of airship which is a major factor for airship performance. CIGS consists of molybdenum as back contact layer to reflect most unabsorbed light back into the absorber. CIGS is acts as an absorber layer in the structure. The function of the buffer layer of CDS is to protect the CIGS layer. The zinc oxide is used for windows layer as transparent conducting oxide to collect and move electrons out of the cell. Example system for CIGS and tandem cell. This system consists of several steps. Glass cleaning, molybdenum sputtering, laser scrubbing, CDS deposition, ITO sputtering, and lamination.
sputter deposition is a thin film technology which is classified as a physical vapor deposition method. There are several types of sputter technology like cluster system, inline system, roll to roll system, and partial inline system that's suitable for the production of the solar cell depending on the type of material used, the desired layer properties, and deposition rates that will be integrated into a tailor made coating system. This video shows an example of sputtering technology for the solar cell such as basic sputtering is used with a minimum quantity of the quality depends on operator itself. Then, partial inline sputtering is for lab scale however the quality is improving but it still depends on the operator to change the target. Next is inline sputtering where usually it used for prototyping but it is limited by different thickness sputtering with different duration. Cluster sputtering is also used for prototyping. It has different chamber sput when can control differently. Lastly, manufacturing workflow sputtering is used for production scale. The diagram shows the simplified version of the ternary phase diagram can be reduced to a pseudo-binary phase diagram along the red dashed line. The bold black line represents the range of photovoltaic quality material and the combination of copper disilinide and indium-3 selenide can form CIGS. There are just four relevant phases in CIGS application which are alpha, beta, beta phase and copper disilinide. The crystal structure for CIGS is tetrahedrally bonded semiconductor with a chalk copyright crystal structure. A characteristic property of CIGS is the high absorptivity. About 99% of the incoming light will be absorbed within the first micrometer of material.